very pleased about the game. Uh, you know, we played a team that was been, had been struggling, but you still have to play and you have to execute and you have to perform at a high level. And I was proud of the response of our team. I was really proud of the way we prepared. And I, I said it after the game, but just the maturity that we showed, the focus that we showed, the attention in meetings that we showed, showed uh, a maturity by our kids and their preparation. Um, you know, we had some excellent performances in the game uh, that we'd like to recognize. Got my little sheet here. Um, but offensively, obviously, Wyatt Demps, we felt like he had his best game uh, that we've had him for. He's had some really big statistical games, but the types of plays he made in that game were really big time catches. Uh, Ty Ganji was really, really uh, sharp and effective. Those were our offensive players of the game. Defensively, we wanted to recognize three different guys. Uh, obvi obviously, Damian Baber uh, with his uh, interception returns and his returns for touchdown on the punt return. Just a historic type performance. The long interception return, which was a record, was just shows the capabilities of his play. Uh, we had two other defensive players that played outstanding, Austin Paulus and Malik Reed. Uh, both were really, really good. And then on special teams, we like to recognize Kyle, Kyle Adams, who had a really outstanding performance. We had some scout team kids that really did a great job, Alex uh, Tancredo and Cayman Curidan. Uh, on the offensive scout team, Devin Porter on the defensive scout team, and then our special teams uh, scout team player of the week was Sheldon Wilkerson. Um, really, really excited. Uh, uh, we basically have 12 days left of our season. Um, we're not going to a bowl game. Um, we get to play a great uh, team this week, uh, San Diego State, who's been one of the top teams in this league. We're really, really excited about going and playing on the road. And then our bowl game will be next week when we come back and play the team down south. So that's kind of what way we look at it. We want to sprint to the finish. We don't want to limp to the finish. We want to sprint. And so uh, we had a great practice today and really looking for the challenge uh, to play this team this week. I was really pleased to see us uh, really win all three phases for the first time in a long time. And um, I thought it was really important that we got our stinger back on defense and made some big plays, got some sacks, uh, made some big hits. And then the turnovers were huge. You know, we had four turnovers in the game. Uh, we played a cl clean game on offense. We pitched a shutout. And uh, that's what we talked about for the game, and we did it. And so. We got to do that again, uh, but I think we gained some confidence defensively. We want to get back to a more aggressive style that we were playing earlier in the season. Um, we wanted to blitz pressure, play tight coverage, and uh, that's what we really do well when we're playing good defense. So I was excited to see that. We made big plays offensively, and we won the kicking game. Uh, we hadn't won the, won the kicking game in the last couple of weeks, and it's been a big factor in the games. And we have to win the kicking game. It's a big, uh, big factor this week. We're playing against a team that likes to play defense and play special teams. That's what they like to do. And they like to run the ball on offense. And so um, there's no secret to what you're going to get when you play San Diego State. And so uh, it's a big challenge for us. It's going to be a physical game. And we're looking forward to it. No, no question. You know, I know this is a big game for San Diego State. They got to win out. Um, it's a big game for us. Uh, you know, we we uh, section our season into quarters. We're in the fourth quarter, and uh, we want to win the fourth quarter. We want to finish strong. Uh, we want to win all our games in the fourth quarter, and we have an opportunity to do that. And that would be a real special thing for us to be able to finish the season strong. And uh, you know, we talk to our kids, you know, we're coming down the home stretch and we don't want to limp into the home stretch. We want to run through the finish line full speed. And, and so uh, we're excited to do that. It's a quality opponent. We're, we're excited about the challenge uh, and we're looking forward to that uh, on Saturday night. What 
He's, he's a good back. I mean, he's strong. Uh, he's got uh, uh, finishing speed. Uh, they do a good job. I mean, they're gonna live. They're gonna live and die on the run game, and and uh, um, and so they're gonna feed them, and they do a good job blocking for them. Um, and so you just gotta match that. You gotta you gotta understand their schemes and and uh, play off blocks and tackle. It's really important that you tackle well this week. So um, you know he's a, he's you know, obviously one of the better backs in the league and and around the country. And so he'll he's got uh, gives you a big challenge. So we're really looking forward to playing him. How similar is their three three five defense to yours? It's similar. It's different as well. They do some different things with it. They play their backers a lot different than we do. Um, you know, they take their middle linebacker and they drop them deep in coverage, and that's very different than what we do. Uh, they try to move them and blitz them. And you know, Rocky's a real experienced coach, done a great job over the years, and. You know, he's seen a lot of things from offenses. So, um, you know, we're going to have to do a good job. You know, they have very athletic linebackers, and, and they run and move very well. And so we're going to have to do a good job of targeting those guys. And, and it's important that we run the football well these last two games. Uh, we're going to play against two running teams that run the ball really well. They like to control the clock. And, and so uh, we're going to have to run the ball uh, really to win these two games. And, so that's going to be a part of our plan as well. You knew coming into the year Malik Reed would be one of the stalwarts on the line. He seems like he's really outpicked his game the last second half. Of the yeah, Malik is uh, Malik's a really talented guy, and he he plays extremely hard. And really, pass rushing is all about effort. And uh, Malik is gives you tremendous effort every week. Um, he's a, he's a he's a tough matchup as an edge rusher, and uh, his speed, along with his tenacity, are are a tough combination. And so, um, he played at a very high level last week, uh, making making his sacks. And and um, you know we we need him to continue to put pressure uh, on the quarterback when this team does drop back and throw. We got to get pressure on the quarterback. And so uh, that'll be a big part of this game this week, and and uh, and he's big part of our pressure as a pass rusher. Penny's only been held to under 100 yards twice in those two games they lost. I guess what, what did the defense do well or did Max uh, do some things to kind of limit what you saw? Well, they did a good job. I mean, they bait, they really put an emphasis on the run game, and and uh, um, you know when you run the ball as many times as they do. Um, that's that's what defenses will do, and um, you know, and we're going to have to we're going to have to have that as part of our plan as well. We're you know we're going to have to do a good job and dedicate a lot of attention to how they're running the football. Uh, I mean, that, and that doesn't mean you neglect the pass, but you have to understand what a team's strengths is and, and try to match it. And and so you know, we're we've watched those games, obviously studied those games, and. There's probably probably some things that we'll take from from those games, and but we've got to do a good job of paying attention to what they do well, and try to make them play a little bit left-handed. I mean that's what you do. You try to make people play to their weaknesses and not their strengths. So, it, and that's definitely what you have to do to San Diego State. And they they really don't care what you play on defense. They're, they're going to run the ball regardless. That's the personality of their head coach, and and it's what they've hung their hat on. So, they're they're not going to change. Um, they're going to try to do what they do well, and um, and it's our job to figure out a way to to match that. Well, just just the consistency of our kids' effort and the way that we've practiced, and and. Um, you know, the majority of our kids have been really good. I mean, it's a it's a transition year for us, just trying to establish a mindset and a set a bar for daily expectations, really. And that's you know, you know, I put that thing out with the the 20 things that we try to do every day, but it's really that simple. We're just trying to make sure that we have our kids' attention, that they're being on time, that they're paying attention in meetings, that they're giving us great effort at practice, uh, that they're doing the things to be a part of a team. Um, in this day and age, it's so uh, uh, unique to be a part of a team where you have teammates that have your back. And it's, 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 a, it's a privilege to be a part of a team. 
but you have to give up some of your individuality to be a part of a team. You have to conform to the rules of the team. And we've tried to be, you know, very uh, direct with our players about the expectations of that. And we've had some guys that couldn't live up to those expectations, and they're not on the team anymore. And so I'm just proud of the guys that I get to, to look at and talk to in the meeting every day because those guys are buying in. They're doing what we're asking them to do. And, and I think you're – you could see that we play very hard for one another, and that's that's really important to me as a head coach. Yeah, I just think it's the reality of human nature, and and uh, and you see people that 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 are able to transition very quickly and make quick starts. Um, you know, it's just unfortunate we just didn't have the right mesh with personnel and, and, and temperament and mentality to make a quick transition. Uh, we certainly, it was certainly our thought and idea to want to do that. Um, but we've, we've had to work through some issues to kind of get closer to what we want. And, you know, our hope is, you know, uh, these last couple games try to get as close to our expectations as possible. Um, you know, obviously last week, we were very pleased with how we played, and um, we got two more opportunities to do that. So, and this is this is big because it's versus a very good opponent on the road, and um, it's it'll be a good measuring stick for our physicality. And you know, to be to be a top level team in this league, you have to be physical. You 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 have to be able to run the ball when you want to run it. You, you got to be able to stop the run, and uh, and I think. Really, for me, that's the thing I'm most excited to see is how physical can our football team be against a quality, you know, Mountain West football team. So. Is that kind of, that's their identity, though. I mean, you know, they love to run the ball. They play great defense. Um, obviously, you guys are just a little bit I don't know. Well, you know, we haven't played them, so we'll find out Saturday. But, but uh, you know, I just know this. Uh, to win – Whatever your scheme is, you know, we, we like to throw the ball. We also like to run the ball. But the bottom line is you have to be physical, whatever your schemes are. Um, and you have to be able to run the ball effectively to win against good teams. And so um, – and that's part of our personality too. And, uh, um, and part of our tradition here – is to be a physical, aggressive team, and we want that reputation as a team. So, um, you know, that's that's our charge, and that's what we've been working for. Um, and we get, you know, two more two more opportunities to show that. Thanks, guys. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, we always look forward to a challenge. You know, each and every week, uh, it's great to have a, a great back that we're going up against. Um, it's going to be a great challenge for our defense, and we're just looking forward to it. What do you think having a game like this having the weekend with guys executing all three phases, dominating all three phases, does for you know the motivation, the confidence going into a big game like this? Oh uh, man, it was just it was exciting to see uh, just each side complementing each other and. Uh, like on defense, the the back end complimenting the the front guys, letting us get pressure, and then us pressuring the quarterback into bad throws. And you know, it's been it was great to see. You, you didn't really have any bad games this year, but it seems like you personally have really the last four or five games have really upped your output on the D line. What do you think is the difference? Uh, well, uh, I like to say that I I play for God, man. It's, uh, that's been a, uh, I mean, that's been the whole way. That's been the way the thing the whole season, but. Uh, He's allowed me to, you know, go out there and make these plays that I've made. Do you think some of it may get used to the, the, the new defensive scheme you guys are running or maybe the team kind of gelling a little bit more? 
I like to say that uh, we feel like we get more comfortable with the defense and uh, it's allowing guys to, you know, just let loose and go play. Um, yes, it will. Uh, it kind of give us a little momentum boost, you know, going into, you know, the, the next season or whatever. Uh, it's not really something that I pay attention to throughout the year, though. You always had a great game Saturday. Have you ever been kind of overshadowed by another teammate having an incredible game? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not really, I would say. Uh, but <laughs> but uh, Dame, Dame, he had a great game uh, Saturday, a uh, historic game even. Um, it was just fun to, to watch him go do his thing, you know. I was happy that I could contribute and do my part to help our team win. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's kind of it has his, his different kind of styles, you know. Uh, Coach Rocky Long has really been with this defense for a long time, and he's he's figured things out. And, and I just remember every year that we've played San Diego, it's always been a struggle to figure out who who is going where and try to find tendencies. And you know, they do a great job of trying to cover things up. And so, um, just between fall camp and now I mean fall camp we're really not trying to scheme our own defense and so uh, now we're really trying to figure out what we're going to do what plays are going to work uh, yeah, it's gonna, it takes a lot more a lot more work than just a, a base defense there's there's guys moving around all over the field and uh, that's just credit to, to coach Long and their defense for their effort and their, their sound defense you rarely see a guy out of his gap and and so it's going to be a great challenge for the union and uh, you know, the union's playing well, and so I think it's a, it's a great opportunity to, to keep this momentum going. Seeing your defense kind of play that 3 through 5 off season, does that mean it kind of helps you understand it a little better? Yeah, absolutely. Um, just even on a deeper level of just seeing coverages, um, seeing the, the safeties and corners, um, you know, that's one thing I've started to figure out the more I've played is being able to see the whole field really helps out what, I, what I'm going to see up front. And so really just trying to figure out what the entire defense is doing, all 11 guys. And now that I've seen it a bunch of times just through our practices, it, it's easier to relate and and get on the right page for, for San Diego moving forward. I believe you guys win the last two games. You'll get third place in the division, so fans in the top half. Is that kind of a little extra boost to get through these last two games? I mean, we, anything can be considered a boost right now. You know, it's not a great season. So wherever these guys need to be motivated, I mean, just coming off that win, everyone's pretty juiced up and ready to go and, and understand how good of a team that we're facing this week. And, and guys are just ready. They're craving the wins. I mean, we've put in so much work. And, and just to not see those results, it, it hurts. And the entire team feels it. You can see it in the locker room. And, and guys are just still hungry. You know, I haven't seen any of that energy fade from from last Tuesday to this Tuesday. and. And so that just that makes me excited, and you know the guys are ready to come out and compete on Saturday. For the most part, this offense has been clicking through the last five or six weeks. We're finally here in the game where all three phases of you guys have made it. How does it was that kind of like just a relief in the locker room to know like we finally kind of achieved what, what we were capable of? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was through the entire season. You know, it'd be offense and special teams would do their job, and then it'd be special teams and defense would do their job, or offense and defense and, and so just to finally get all three finally clicking it's like all right well we can do it we've proved we can do it now it's time to go and consistently do it and so uh, guys are, are ready I mean it's tough that it, it took this long to, for for all three phases to finally get get going but I mean it's we proved that it can be done and, and now we got some good momentum and people are feeling good about it and we it really shows I mean these coaches do know what they're doing and it's another record you know, people people call their names out just because of the record, but these coaches do what they're they do know what they're doing, and all the players have complete trust in them, and and we're just ready to, to continue with this ball movement. Has it dawned on you this is your last road game, the last time you're going to see this? A lot of playing. 
No, I actually didn't think of it as my last road game. Uh, yeah, I guess it is. Um, I hadn't thought about that. I just thought I had two games left. Didn't really think about it as the last road game. So, and yes, what a what a better place than end it in San Diego. You know, better than going to freeze up in Colorado. That was where. Those are the worst memories up there. Just negative six degrees up there, and what a better way to finish the last road game with beautiful San Diego weather. So, um, I mean, I just you're down at sea level, you're breathing well, and so it's a great time for for everyone to come out flying around. Did they relieve you at all, or give you a walk-on spot for the weather? Or no, they. I mean, I talked to Coach Long every now and then, but it was never anything. I mean, you you see his offensive line. There's no there's no room for old 240 pound off. Austin Corbett there, so, um, but he was good. He's a, he's a great guy. He's a great coach, and and I mean, it's, you're undersized. It's not going to happen. So. Yeah, I really just feel like everyone's on the same page the whole time. Um, we just have a great relationship across the room. You know, all five guys, even six with Anthony. Uh, we're all on the same page. We're all we're all just really close, and and just to have that, how close we are, and, and just to be playing well, it's it's just a great feeling. Senior year, um, I couldn't have asked for a better for a better way of the offensive line playing. You know, we're playing well, and you know, it just reflects with our offense. And and really, I mean, we kind of started out a little slow with with Ty getting a lot of hits, and. And now we've picked it up, and we're keeping that pressure off Ty. And so that's just that's our challenge: make sure no one touches the quarterback, and and just let him do his thing. Because when he's clean, he's he's unstoppable. And, and so, you know, that's just what we really look look up to and and challenge ourselves with. And I'm just happy with every single one of those guys in that room. No, they're they're just a hard nosed team. They're definitely one of the more physical teams in the conference, and uh, I mean, they're always just feeling good. And, and and again, that just goes back to you're in San Diego. You're you're feeling good. You're happy. You got great weather, and when you're feeling good, you can go play hard. And and Coach Long, he's got that old style, and he just knows it's it's going to be a a battle every single play. It's going to be a, a competition. And you got to know, and you got to prep yourself for it, and and just playing them in the past, it's you always come out just just feeling a little a little beat up, but that's just the nature of the game, and it's it's really those these kind of games that what what I look forward to, you know, you know that the other guy across from you he's coming to to get you, and you're coming to get him, and and bigger man's gonna win, and so that's that's kind of what I look forward to, and I know it's what the union looks forward to, and so you, know, you just got to get ready and uh, just mentally preparing all week, you know. You got to be thinking for it. The more times you play out in your head, by the time you get to the game, I mean, you should have already played the game at least four or five times. Has your brother admitted that he's rooting for this weekend? Nah, he's always wearing his San Diego stuff. Still, he's. I mean, it's it's tough, and that's your that's his school, and you know, I I understand that. That's that's where you know he that's his life. That's what he did. That's how he got through college. That's that's the same thing. I mean, that's I mean, but at the same time. I'm his brother, and he's rooting for me. So it's it's he'll have a Nevada hat on, but he still he'll wear his conference championship ring anytime he can. He wears that in front of me, just so just so he know. But uh, when we played, I got the win, so it's there, you know. But it's just that's that brotherly brotherly love, and it's all great and fun. And it's, I mean, I think you didn't play with Parker this year, or at least I don't think you did. Or Reed, but do you remember him coming up as a younger guy? Yeah, he was either a I think he was a sophomore. My senior year might have been a freshman, but I, I remember like playing baseball with him there and stuff too. He, he's just a great kid, and and uh, you know just another another testament of that. that Reed High, uh, the coaches that we have over there, just getting people right, and Coach Howard and his staff just do a phenomenal job of, of developing players, and and you know he's Parker's just done it very well for himself in San Diego, and and really just looking forward to to see how he does finish out his career.